how do you fix it? How do you fix next year? We got to get a quarterback. We got to get a, a legit, you know, number one quarterback to fix it. We got to replace some some uh, empty spots and, and injuries that were on the offensive line. And then when we go from there, um, I mean, I don't know too much about the defense, but uh, I think if we do that as an offense, we help out the defense as well because we got a serious D-line that's one of the best in the league. But also uh, the culture of our team, you know, they had some stuff come out of the, in the media about the locker room and all this other stuff. We have to change the culture and be more disciplined as players on, on this team and have a winning spirit and a winning attitude towards each and every aspect of the game. Like we can't go into a workout like, oh, it's a workout, whatever. We have to go into the workout or the OTA practice or the film watching session to win every single game and every day. How, how does that happen though? Is that, how much is that coaching? A, how much is that is on, on the players themselves to, to police themselves? It's about, I, I don't know, I, I would have to say it's probably 50-50, like 50% coaching and, and reiterating that and, and showing that mindset. But also, as a player, you have to want to do that. You know, if you don't want to do that, and that's the thing about the, the coaches too, you have to figure out the guys who want to, to do that and want to win and the guys who don't. And if they don't, you got to get them out of there. Have the Jets, have you gone to the Jets and say, hey, look, man, I can not only still play, but you got to use me as a pass catcher out of the back. But have you had that conversation yet? No, I haven't had that conversation yet. Uh, uh, Chan just retired. We got a, We just hired a, uh, a new offensive coordinator, so um, we'll be having that conversation very soon. But uh, you know, it's just something. I'm I'm not one of the guys who go in there and be like, yeah, give me the ball, and uh, you know, I'm part of the team. But I want to. No, but just, I, I think it's I want to play I, smart football. I think it's reasonable though for yeah. you to go in and see John Morton and just go, listen, you know, like I I know you've been successful, and that's why you got hired here. But like, if you want to get the best out of me. Like, can I just give you like, this is how to get the best out of me? Like, I think that's a reasonable yeah, kind of I, like you're a, you're a, you're a bright guy, a grown up. You, yeah. You know, you have everybody's respect. I, that's a, a reasonable uh, discussion to have, no? And I I think um, smart and really good coordinators know that they they watch film and they go in and, and they know a, a great coach and a great coordinator is the guys who go in and they put the players into position to make the best plays, but also they know what those players do best. Like. If I don't run an out route good, don't put me on an out route. So then, you know, you, you find those guys that do those things good, and that's what you, that's what you place them at. 